Hello my beautiful friends, what is up? How are you? Welcome back to another video. If you've been here before, it's so good to see you. If you haven't been here before, hey what's up? My name's Steph. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. It is so good to see you. I just want to kind of jump right in today and talk about the fear and being able to create, create your own reality. Because that is such a daunting thing. Like the idea that like we're able to create everything we could ever desire and one is incredible and it's awesome and it's something that I'm so moved by every single day and I put so much thought into it but it's so daunting to like have that much power because our whole lives we've been taught that we're just human like life is just happening to us and this this just is how it is so then when you come to this realization that like and you learn that you do create your own reality, you're already working with so much because you have so much deprogramming to do and you have so much to work through and you have so much going on. And like when you first jump into this, you're like, yeah, I'm going to manifest and I'm going to create my own life and it's going to be awesome. And then you realize that it's not just like that. For some people, it's like manifesting is so easy. But for a lot of us, it's like there's a lot of deprogramming you have to do. There's a lot of understanding why you are the way you are and where your limiting beliefs are and kind of working through those and accepting them as, as like not your truth and ignoring your current circumstances and it's like releasing those old identities and understanding that like you are enough and you are worthy and like you can have anything you want but it, it's also like a journey to get there and I think that there's such a misconception in spirituality and people who are teaching spirituality. It's just like, it it is something that is so beautiful and so liberating, but it's something that it takes a lot of time and effort and energy to not only rewire your brain, but understand that there's nothing wrong with how you were before. You know, I think that we're so hard on ourselves and we're like, well, if I'm creating my own reality, like, why did I create this? And it's not just you. You have generational trauma and generational programming way far behind you that was imprinted in you before you even came here. You came here knowing that you would have to unlearn those lessons and then you forgot who you were. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. There's nothing wrong with not having it all figured out right now. It's nothing, there's nothing wrong with not being one of those, sorry, with not being one of those people that can just like snap their fingers and create everything they've ever wanted and if you're struggling with that too like you're not alone like it is hard because especially like when I'm such a logical person and I have been studying my outside world as a means to keep me safe and keep me protected so it's hard for me to ignore my outside world and it's also hard for me to continuously work through all of the stuff when it comes up and it is a very long journey and you're not going to feel good all the time you're not going to feel motivated all the time but sometimes you're just going to want to be like i don't want to and not i'm not saying by any means you have to be completely healed to manifest the life you want but you do need to be open to deserving that and a lot of that comes from healing those things that make you feel like you're unworthy it's working through those things so you can give yourself permission to be something different and if you haven't experienced the thing you're trying to manifest it's harder for you to actualize it because you don't know what that feels like and so it's hard to focus on how something feels if you've never felt that before and so it's going to the past and saying well how do I feel about this and why do I feel like this about this okay, now that I know how I feel, and now that I know that I can work through that, I can work through that, and I can start to focus on how I think it would feel if I had this. And then it's like a stepping stone type thing. But we can't just get to the feeling of this without acknowledging that, like, this is truly how it makes me feel. Your subconscious brain is, like, 90% of your world. Like, it creates the large majority of your reality. And so you can consciously think all these things if you want. But if you're not working through the subconscious things, then your conscious thoughts only can do so much because your subconscious thoughts are like constant all the time. 
it's so much more than just thinking positive and it's not instantaneous and it's not something that you can be hard on yourself about because everybody's journey is so different. So know that creating your own reality, although it is a power that you possess, it is an everyday thing and it is a constant ever-growing journey. It's not like you just get to the finish line. I've always said that the journey is more important than the outcome and that's because it is. The little things are something to celebrate, the big things are something to celebrate, and it's all about your perspective, it's all about where, how far you're willing to go to really know that you deserve those things, regardless of the story you've told yourself. It's dissecting that story and letting go of the old story so you can welcome in this new chapter of your life because you can manifest anything you want, you can do anything you want, you can be anything you want. You do create your own reality, but you and the story you tell yourself is what's putting distance between you and where you want to go. So I hope that made sense with you guys. I hope it resonated. I hope it gained some clarity and some peace on if you're trying to manifest your life and if you're trying to create things for yourself and it's just not working and you're frustrated. If you'd like to subscribe and join our ever-growing little family here, I would love to have you. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it and it does help get the channel to more people who might need our message and yeah, if this is my first and last time seeing you, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Happy healing. I'm sending you so much love, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!